Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card is going to be this awesome little flip-flop card we created in my WOW class in July. And I wanted to create a video for you in case you guys missed it. This is an actual case from a friend of mine, Michelle Suit. She did this on one of her Facebook Lives. And I just loved her color combination. I love the stamp set she's using. I'm infatuated with this paper. I think it's called Pressed Petals. It's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get started creating this card. We're gonna use the Daisy Lane Bundle. Actually, we're using the Daisy Lane stamp set, but this is a bundle in our current catalog, and it does come with a smaller medium um, a daisy punch that fits this little guy. And then, of course, this big one here, we, we have the coordinating punch uh, that we had last year with a, another daisy set. So this is a great little bundle to play with, and we've been having lots and lots of fun with it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take a piece of So Saffron, and I'm gonna pull in my Simply Scored tool, and I'm gonna score it at two and two and one quarter, and then we can get this guy out of the way. This is actually creating our mechanism that's going to actually make the um, panels open and shut. So I'm gonna pull in a tag topper punch and I'm gonna slide this in. So you'll see you have a smaller side here with a square and then you've got the rectangle. So you're gonna punch the rectangle side and that's gonna create our pull tab. So we can go ahead and do the folds then. Okay, we've got those two little folds. I'd use a bone folder, but I don't happen to have one on my on my table and then I'm going to do a little bit of sticky strip so that I am prepared when I'm ready to actually put this card together. So right in where that little uh, creates like a little um, almost like a book binding between those two you're going to do a, a strip of sticky. Uh, you could also use um, the Tombow Fast Fuse, if you still have that, that's actually fine to work with as well. And let me think what else I need to do. I need to do a bit on the back side. So it's going to go through like this. That's what's going to pull. And I also want to do a little bit right here on the back. Now there might be another piece that I'm missing. I'm going from memory. I just came back from vacation. And so this feels like I created this card a long, long time ago. All right, so I think, I'm thinking we're good. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and we'll do a little bit of stamping. So I'm gonna pull in some Knight of Navy and some Whisper White. And I did go ahead and cut these out ahead of time using our stitched shape framelits. So these two will be the same size and then you've got a bigger one and a smaller one. So well, if we start off with our sentiments, I always like to put them in the center, then I can always work around them. So the bigger, the bigger white is going to be the front of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp friend in Knight of Navy, and then the smaller one will be the, oops, I want a sentiment, on the inside of our card or the inside of our flip-flop, I guess I should call it. And this is a great little card to give to a friend because it says friend. All right, now we're gonna do some daisies and I did stamp these off. Now my ink might be looking a little, no, it's still pretty good. Sometimes after a class, um, my ink is, you know, I don't really have to stamp off because we've used a lot of it. So I just did two daisies there, and then another little daisy here in the corner. Daisy in the corner of this one as well. And then finally, we're gonna pull in some old olive. Same thing, we're gonna stamp off on that as well, just so that our sentiment really pops. There goes my nose running. Happens every time. All right, so that's it for the stamping part. So now all we need to do is put these together on our night matching Knight of Navy squares. And I am 
making sure I have lots. Make sure I got the right side there. Yep. It's early in the morning when I make these videos, so sometimes my eyes aren't quite awake. And I'm not sparing on my adhesive. I really want it to stay on there and not come off. All right, there we are. So what we're gonna do next, oh, I'm missing a punch, I can tell that. Okay, so I pulled in a piece of So Saffron and a piece of that Pressed Petals DSP. And I have my card base here. And Knight of Navy. So I can go ahead. I went ahead and did this one with stitched rectangles as well. Uh, lots of stitching on this card. And our stitched rectangle dies are just awesome. They just add that little extra something for that layer because you've got that stitching on there. Now, I knew I was missing a punch. We're gonna take the classic label punch and we're gonna slide this in as far as it would go, kind of making sure that you're even on both sides. It's just an eyeball thing. You don't have to worry about measuring at all. And now you can see how we're gonna take our little pull tab and we're gonna slide it up through like this. Now, I don't need to actually put this together just yet. I am going to put my panels on first. So I'm gonna do my inside panel and it is going to be attached right up to the edge of that uh, tear and tape piece that you just did. Now I just got adhesive on there and that was that was really dumb Jody, really dumb. All right, I think we're okay. So I'm just working with this panel right now. Actually I don't really need to have it on the card. Um, and make sure I don't have any sticky on there. So now I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. What you could do that might be a little bit easier is use tear and tape. Uh, I think that might be what Michelle did on her on her video, and that's that's fine too. That might be a little bit easier. You just peel those two off. So I'm going to have that kind of go right up against there, and I'm going to just make sure I'm eyeballing it. That's kind of in the center, okay? Now I can peel that piece of tear and tape off, and now my top panel is going to come. And same thing, it's just gonna go right up to that edge and I kind of am eyeballing it to make sure, I do wanna make sure that I am straight on my card though. Okay, so if you stay still, hold that down and just right across there. Now I'm gonna flip this over onto the back side and I'm gonna put that panel on with dimensionals. I just want it to be raised up just a little bit that allows that little pull tab to work uh, pretty easily, help it slide a little bit better. And I'm just gonna put a little dimensional right up against the side. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in the way of the little mechanism that I just created, but enough that it's kind of up off my card base. Get rid of the stickies. Oh, please excuse my nose running. That is just ridiculous. I am fine all day long. And then I, maybe it's because it's morning. I don't know. I used to think it was because I got up and worked on the farm and then came in and made these videos, but I don't think it is. Okay, so now <clears throat> I have this little piece of tear and tape here, and I'm going to just be ready. So I want to figure out <clears throat> where that center is and I'm just gonna push it down. So the one thing that you'll notice that this does stick out a little bit on the side for your mechanism, that does affect your envelope for mailing purposes. So you might have to create your own envelope uh, to send this uh, or make a little bit of a bigger envelope. So now we say a little prayer, please make sure that this works. And we have a little flip-flop card, yay! 
So now I just took a piece of our um, ribbon. This is from the Magnolia Lane combo pack and I actually am in love with this ribbon. I think it's just gorgeous. It also comes with some mossy meadow um, twine, which is great. So fun to work with. And that's just giving you a little bit of a handhold there. So I'm just gonna trim that down. Okay, so there we go. And then the final step is I took two pieces of our linen thread and I just am creating a little bit of a bow. Not a little bit of a bow, it's it's actually, it's it's a real bow. Totally legit. Now, what? how do I wanna put that on? I wanna put that on with a snot dot. Okie dokie, almost done. Fantastic. So I did okay with being away for like 10 days and then coming back and trying to remember how to create this. Not too shabby. All right, there you go, guys. That is a gorgeous little flip-flop card. Now, as always, I'm gonna give this one away that I created on my video. You need to leave a, a comment on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook page, wherever you're finding this, my blog, whatever works. Now, I do wanna put a stipulation, guys. I am picking winners and I'm trying to contact you, but you're not contacting me back with your address. So if it's been more than a week, um, I go ahead and pick another winner. So make sure that you're checking back or you're checking your inbox so that I can get your address to send these to you guys. So happy Movie Monday, and I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week, friends.